Hi, I'm Manil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll understand how do we find the amount and how do we relate the amount when an investment is made based on simple interest. We'll also sketch a graph to understand it. This is a very important communication question and I hope students will understand the significance of this particular video. The question here is, Anil deposits $1,200 into a savings account that earns 10% per year simple interest. Question one, write an equation to relate the amount of investment A to the time T in years. Graph the function and part three is how long will it take for investment to grow to $2,000 to the nearest month? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on the address given. Now let's try to understand the concept. Anil deposits $1,200 into a saving account. So the money deposited is called the principal amount P. I'm writing this as $200, right? Okay. Into savings account. Interest rate. So the rate of interest is 12 per 10% per year. 10% per annum or per year. Now, what does that really mean? It means that with every year we get 10% of the amount deposited. And that is the interest earned. So interest is PRT. P times R times T, right? So, so we get the interest from here. We can write interest as equal to 1200, which is the P value. Rate of interest is 10%. 10% means 10 over 100, right? Always write the decimal equivalent. And T is the time. Okay, so every year that much of interest will be gained and this interest is equal to $120, right? So $120 per year, that is the interest earned. So that really means that the amount per year should be the principal invested plus the interest. And so we could write this amount as in this particular case, 1200 plus 120t. Makes sense. So 1200 plus 180t becomes the equation which relates the investment in this particular example to the time t. Perfect. So let me rewrite this as the solution for the first one. We say the amount is basically equals to principal plus prt, right? And in the given scenario, it is 1200 plus 120t, right? Now, in part two, we'll see how do we graph this particular relation. So I hope part A is clear, the equation, right? Let's look into the graph. So we have the equation which we need to graph now. And the equation is since the investment is of $1,200 and the amount every year earns an interest of 10%, we have the equation which is amount is equal to 1200 plus 120t. Now this reminds you of equation of a line, correct? So just related with the y equals to mx plus b, right? You see, I could rewrite this equation in the form amount A is equal to 120t plus 1200. So clearly, if t equals to 0, in that case, A equals to 120, right? So what you could do is you could uh, make a table of values, right? So what I will do here is for different amounts, 
for different times, we'll calculate the amounts, right? So let us write down time here and then amount. The formula is right there before us. So to start with, when t equals to 0, then the amount will be 1,200. So on this particular graph, uh, we'll, we should actually break this up and then write down time. This time will be in years. And the amount A, which will be in dollars. Right. So, when T equals to 1, $120 will be added. So, it becomes 1200 plus 120, so 1320. When T is 2, again 120 is added, means 240 is added to this, 1420, right. When, so likewise, you could actually have different points, right? So if I put a value of 5 here, for example, right? So in that case, it will be how much? 120 into 5, 5 times 2 is 10, so 600, so 1800. So all these amounts are in dollars, right? And T is in years. Okay. Now, to sketch this graph, let me plot these points. So, let's say we have, uh, so let's say this is 0, right? And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's say this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. So, we want to start with 1200 and each division could be, let's say this is 1200 for us. So each division could be of, uh, let's say two divisions could be 100, right? So let's say 100 each. So you say 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is 1800, right? So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this will be 1800. So I'm taking two points. At 5, I'm taking 1800. And I'm going to join with a straight line like this. So that becomes the graph for the given function. So I utilized, actually speaking, at 5, 1800. And at 0, 1200. So, in between these are the points which could be connected, right? So, that is how we actually sketch the graph of this particular function. So, remember we are solving, we are sketching amount in dollars versus time, t in years, right? So, that is how the graph is. The y intercept is the investment in the slope in this case will be product of rate of interest into principal amount, PR, okay? So that will be rise over run. So I hope this part is absolutely clear, right? Now let's move on to the next part of it and that is to how long will it take for investment to grow to 2000? So we just found the formula which is Amount is equal to principal 1200 plus 120t, right? We want A to be 2000. So, the substitute, so we get 2000 equals to 1200 plus 120t. So, it is 2000 minus 1200 is 120t, which is 800 equals to 120t or 800 divided by 120 is the time period, correct? So let's calculate this time period. So t is equal to 800 divided by 120. 
Now, calculators may or may not be allowed, right? So, I'm not sure. And sometimes they are not allowed for such examples, correct? So, in that case, what you could do is kind of simplify, right? And now we can divide both by 4 and we get 20 over 3, right? Dividing by 4, right? And then by 3, 3, 6 is 18 and then 20 again, 6, 6, right? 6 recurring, it comes. Now, we need to provide the answer to the nearest month. So, we know it is 6 years and 0.6 year means how many months, right? So, so what you could do is that you can multiply 0 0.6 by 12, right? It is 6, 6 rather. So, when you do that, 6 times 2 is 12 to 1 and 6 times 1 is 6 and 1, 7, right? So, we get 7.2. So, seven months. So, eighth month you will get this, right? So, slightly more than seven months, right? And therefore, we can say it will take six years and eight months for amount to be $2,000. Make sense? So, that is how we could actually use the formula to extrapolate, or you could actually extrapolate your graph also, right, to get the result, but you can use the formula as suggested here and calculate the time for the required amount. So, I hope this solution is absolutely clear. So, let's go through this. First thing is, we are given the amounts in dollars, so A is in dollars, right? Remember this. And time T is in years. So, when we talked about principal of 1200, it was $1200, right? And 10% per year. Interest will also be in dollars, perfect. So, when you add interest to the principal, you get the amount in dollars. And that gives you the formula. 1200 the principal and then the interest which you earn every year. In the graph, remember that the y-intercept is the investment or the principal and then the slope is basically 120, right? Rise over run, correct? If you see that slope gradient, let's say m value in a graph, in this particular linear function will be, in this case, it is 120, right? That is the slope. And this slope is basically equal to P times R. So, you can also relate the two from the slope. Once we have the equation on the graph, we actually worked out the time required for the investment to be 2000. So, it's a reverse calculation, perfect. So, I hope with this, the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. In case you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.